November. Jesus here. Hey, you have done it again. Jesus here. In your special way. What was it? You made possible. You made possible. I want you to know. Now what we are doing here, we are not just singing a song, we are prophesying. We are declaring. I kid you not, church, I had no idea that my PA was recording me yesterday because that's the way it was doing me. As I was going through the airport, I was laughing, I was dancing, I was rejoicing because I felt in my spirit that there are members of streams of joy that will arise out of this service and the God of the eleventh hour, 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 raise your voice, give him a shout. Suddenly the door will open. 
and the only thing that will come out of your mouth Jesus yeah. wait 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 suddenly an alert that you never thought will enter your account will it hit bam 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 the only thing that will enter your mouth is jesus yeah. when the doctors report whatever they said they saw before they are bound not to see it again the only thing that you will scream is jesus yeah. You have done it again, Jesus, yeah. in your special way. What was it but you made it possible? Jesus, yeah. You know there are people right now that are conspiring. They have ganged up. They have said, let us see what will come out of you. They have marshaled out their plans, put their machineries in motion. Watch out what will happen in 48 hours. You are about to sing this song over their head. Jesus, yeah. you have done it again. Jesus, yeah. in your special way. your testimony if you know it is yours can you raise your voice give him a loud shout scream 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 The Bible says, how many of you saw this house in its former glory? The glory of the later house. The glory of the later house. What is about to happen will be greater than that of the former. They will not understand. Because some of you, you know you're going to be driving. When the news will hit you, you will park the car. Come out of the car. Sit down on the floor. Jesus, yeah. you have done it again. Jesus, yeah. hey, hey, hey. Jesus, Jesus, what was impossible? You made possible. Jesus, yeah. if you believe this, let it be your portion. For some of you, let me tell you what will happen. When the news will hit you, it will hit you at a place where people thought you were a very confused person. And they will feel like, ah, ah, what is going on? Because the only thing that will come to your mind is just to go on the ground, roll on the ground, and all you're going to scream is, Jesus, yeah. You have done it again. Jesus, yeah. hey. In your special way, what was impossible? Ah. You made possible. Jesus, yeah. if you know that man is not your helper, if you know, I will look up my eyes onto the hills from west cometh my help. My help coming from the Lord. Oh, that's my trust in their chariots. Oh, that's my remember their horses. But you know, if God is for us, who can be against us? Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. Give the Lord a loud shout. Jesus here, you have done it again. Jesus here, in your special way, what was impossible? You made possible. Jesus here. You know, 
there are there are memories that this song brings back to me what was impossible you made possible Jesus yeah. what was impossible you made possible Jesus yeah. open your Bibles what was impossible Second Kings chapter 13, verse 20. Second Kings chapter 13. God is good. It will be good. You see this November? It will be good. You see this November? You will be remembered. You see this November? The God of the 11th hour will make a name for himself. You see this November, he will never leave you. He will not forsake you. You see this November, those that spoke ill will come back to celebrate you. You see this November, where you thought there was no way, the Lord has made a way. You see this November, what you call a disappointment, a miracle is about to arise out of it. You see this November, the God of the 11th hour will not leave you stranded. If you believe it, let your amen scatter the gates of hell. So we'll read all the way just verses 20 and 21. Like it's the custom of this house for us to rise for the reading of God's word. Can we rise on our feet? Second Kings chapter 13, we'll read 20 and 21. At the count of three, let us read over Sheba the heart. I don't know, but I speak against every death of the first child of a house. You will not bury the first child of your house. I say it again. You will not bury the first child of your house. Let your amen thunder louder. The Spirit of God just said to me, I'm removing arthritis. I command let arthritis disappear right now. Something is going on in your office you don't know about. And they want to implicate you in it. At the sound of your amen, between Monday and Tuesday, let it be exposed by fire. Kabadasia. The Spirit of God said to me, between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m., the man that is sitting on what belongs to you will release it by fire. They will not just release it, but they will call you to apologize. They will not spoil the process. 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 Let your amen thunder. In an open vision, I see a hand receiving what is bigger than it. And that hand cannot carry it. And make a prayer right now. Let this hand be big enough to carry what is coming. I said, let this hand be big enough to carry what is coming. I speak against heart failure in a child. In a child between six to eight years old. I, I speak against, you know, I, I see like this. This Oh yeah, I, I see like a meningitis that deteriorated and then they are saying heart failure. I command, let it be reversed right now. I command, let it be reversed right now. I command, let it be reversed right now. Kaborosha, the Lord said, I'm calling back every child that has strayed away. Any child that has strayed away. Oh, the angels are moving. The angels are moving. The angels are moving. The angels are moving. Straight from instruction. Straight from the home. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead. We command, come back home right now. Come back to Jesus right now. Come back and fulfill your purpose. Come back and fulfill your agenda right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, let your amen thunder. I 
don't know, but I, the Lord said to me, eh, reverse every exchange of destiny. Uh, some of you, what you are living is not your life. Uh, I can't even explain it. Uh, the sound of your amen. I command, let every exchange of destiny, let them be reversed right now. 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 Let your amen turn now. Let your amen turn now. Let your amen turn now. Kabaru said there, the Spirit of God said, I should rebuke every mobile numbness. Sometimes it will be your hand. Sometimes it will be your leg. Sometimes it will be this hand. Sometimes it will be your head. Mobile numbness. Numbness that goes around. It happens every day. By the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I announce, let it be reversed right now. 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 Let your amen turn now. Blood clots in the eyes by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. I announce, let it be reversed. 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 I hear hypertension of the lungs. That's what I hear by the power that raised Jesus from the dead. Let it be broken right now. Kabarushana, your child has this breakout on the body that looks like measles but it has refused to go constant fever and the breakout has remained there but by the power that raised Jesus from the dead I announce let it be reversed right now 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 Kapando Koshabada Rikado Sudanaba and the others are I am praying for some people powers that make you small in the eyes of of your helper Akola Shada powers that make you underperform in the season of your visibility powers that make you lose confidence in the moment of your manifestation I'm praying for men and women who have a journey ahead of them I command let it be broken right now let it be broken right now let it be broken right now the Lord is giving you wisdom to escape that trap the Lord is giving you wisdom to escape that trap. The Lord is giving you wisdom to escape that trap. Oh, you don't know. You don't know. They're setting a trap so that they will remove you out from the throne. As your amen will turn down, let the trap they have set for you, let it capture their own head. Let it capture their own head. Let it capture their own head. Let your amen turn down louder. You don't have to like this prayer, but anybody that buried a goat so that you will be buried. At the sound of your amen, I announce, let them take your place right now 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 let your amen turn down i see this severe heart pain that comes with palpitations recollash you literally have to stop everything you are doing but as your amen will turn down i announce let it be reversed right now let it be reversed right now let it be reversed right now let it be reversed Open your Bibles to the book of 2 Kings, chapter 13. And we'll read from verse 20. Hallelujah. We'll read 20 and 21. Hallelujah. At the count of three, can we read together? One, two, three. And Elisha died, and they buried him. And the bands of the Moabites invaded the land at the coming in of the year. And it came to pass, as they were burying a man, that behold, they spied a band of men. And they cast the man into the sepulchre of Elisha. And when the man was let down and touched the bones of Elisha, he revived and stood up on his feet. Hallelujah. People of God, please can we read the scripture in message translation? If you do not mind, show me this amazing scripture in message translation. One to go. Then Elisha died and they buried him. Sometime later, raiding bands of Moabites as they often did, invaded the country. Yes. One day some men were burying a man and spotted the raiders. They threw the man into Elisha's tomb and got away. When the body touched Elisha's bone, the man came alive, stood up, and walked out on his own two feet. If you don't mind, show me um, the scripture again in Amplified and I will be fine. Um, show me in Amplified. Um, the Bible says, Elisha died and they buried him. Now marauding bands of Moabites would invade the land in the spring of the year. 
And it happened that as a man was being buried on an open bier, they saw a marauding band coming. And they threw the man into Elisha's grave. But when the body of the man was being let down and touched the bones of Elisha, he revived and stood up on his feet. Help me before I pray. Look at your neighbor and say, death is not the end. And I tell your neighbor, death is not final. I need you to say it again. Say, death is not final. Our Father, in the next few minutes, we ask, Kepando Loshada, that you do what only you can do, God of the 11th hour. 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 Do what only you can do. And let it be all about your power and all about your grace. Let your amen thunder louder. Would you take your seat in the presence of the Lord and help me prophesy to your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. tell your neighbor, say neighbor, neighbor, if there is something left, then God is about to do something. I say it again to your neighbor, say the God of the 11th hour said to me to tell you, if there is something left, tell your neighbor no matter how dry they are, tell your neighbor, have you forgotten? All that was left were dry bones of Elisha. Say, God used the bones to wake up a man. Tell your neighbor, is there something left? Tell your neighbor, is there something left? I say it again to your neighbor, is there something left? He said, God is about to use what is left. I need you to touch your neighbor. Say, God is about to use what is left. I tell your neighbor, there is something left. Say, my prayer life is still here. I tell your neighbor, say, my prayer life is still here. Say, my hope in God is still left. Say, my knowledge of God is still left. I then tell your neighbor, say, get ready. I get ready. Say, nothing will die. Say the God of the 11th hour has come right now. If you believe it, thunder it louder. Amen. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. Let your amen rise higher. Listen, no matter what decays around you, please do not let the substructure that carries your being decay. People of God, no matter what decays, Kendolosha, around you, what is decayable can decay. But don't let the substructure that carries the decaying materials decay. So see what I mean by this. It is okay for material things to spoil because the blessing is not the material things. But please don't let the substructure, what is on the inside uh, that carries now, Look, it's very simple. Elisha's body decayed, but his bones were still alive. His, bo his body decayed, the bones were there. People of God, there was still something left. People of God, seasons where you believe what I trusted to happen is no longer happening. I want you to hold on to that thing that will not decay. Did you hear what I just said right now? Uh, look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor his word will not decay. Tell your neighbor his spirit in me will not decay. I tell your neighbor what he said about me will not decay. If you believe it, can you thunder a louder amen? Can you scream a better amen? Can you shout a better amen? People of God, put that in one corner of your mind. This guy has been buried. This guy has decayed. But do not forget that this was a young man uh, that followed a man called Elijah. And all he kept saying is, I need a double portion of your spirit. Remember. And the Bible said that he told him, when you will see, if you can see me as I'm taking away, then you can have it. What you have asked is a hard thing. And as Elijah was being taken up, he cried, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel, and the horsemen thereof, people of God. And he tore his own garment and went and collected the mantle. This was the guy that died without transferring the mantle. So, sir, he died with the mantle. So, sir, his body was dead, but mantles don't die. Listen. Listen, whether you have faith or not, let me tell you, the prophetic word over your life is a mantle. 
day, don't die. Let me say this to you. Even if you forget the word, the word does not forget you. Let me say this to you again. There are things that happen in your life. You thought they were coincidences. Pastor, do you know suddenly one door opened? It wasn't sudden. It was a response to an amen you said carelessly. There are doors that open for you and you keep asking yourself, Pastor, I, you know I didn't even pray about this. I didn't even know this was going to happen. I didn't. No, the Lord said, listen. I release mantle. Mantles. So, so sir, even when the body is inactive, he said, every command say Abasha, every word I have said will not return back void. Without accomplishing that for which it was sent. So sir, Elisha was dead and gone, but there was a mantle on his life that says I won't die. There was something on his life. Oh my God. I do not mean to go this way, but let me say this thing. Do you know that a dead man had the mantle that could raise another dead man, but the dead man died? May you not carry what can change destinies. But yet you are still stuck. Kepanda sokolo shabara, rande bakasupa da shiara. I'm not talking to everyone. Marabali koro shabara, because kepanda sa. There's something kepanda sa to. Elisha, you mean somebody touched your bone, and then they came alive, and yet you, the carrier of this grace, died, and what you had. Could not wake you up. Is there a possibility as the years began to come, I never understood what I now carried? Is there a form of atrophy that may have happened by reason of time? I no longer understood that what I carried. Kepatasa. Leporoshibara was double and not single. Rekata. Akilabasha. Andebosa. Some of us are carrying what can help a generation. But unfortunately, it has not helped you first. I pray for you. Let what God has locked up in your spirit, man. As your amen will thunder, let them be stirred back to life again. That amen did not understand what I just said. I said, let there be a stirring. 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 Let your amen thunder. I do not mean to go this way, but I literally can feel that the bones of Elisha were screaming, I have not finished my assignment yet. I literally feel that the bones of Elisha were screaming, Oh no, oh no, they kept me here. They brought me down here prematurely. They brought me here prematurely. People of God, if more dead persons touch the bones of Elisha, Ikadosha, they were going to rise. But let me tell you the deceit of the enemy. He never lets you realize what's on the inside. God has already put it there, but you are still looking for it. All God needs to do is to stare. There's, there's greatness. And listen, you people looking at me right now. There is greatness for the marketplace. There is greatness for the ministry. There's greatness for what is already inside. People will come to you. They will ask for counsel. You will give them. Their own doors will open. But yet you are still stuck where you are. People will come. You have the knowledge. You know what to do. You give the best counsel. But when you look at your life, you are not producing as much evidence as you should produce. If your amen will thunder, the God of the 11th hour sent me to tell you today, at the sound of your amen, let there be a turn around. I said, let there be a turn around. 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 Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. 
right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Let your amen thunder. Let me say this. I need to say these three things very quickly. How to utilize the best of what God has put inside of you. Number one, believe in it. Number two, use it. Number three, stare it. Number four, manifest it. There's a difference between usage and manifestation. I don't have all the time. People of God, there is something God has put inside of you. Believe it. Believe it. Kabarosia. Believe it. Because the, the, the challenge you're going to face every day is that situations are going to keep telling you there's nothing there. There's nothing there. You're not that smart. You're not that good. If you think you're that good, you're not even that good. You're not that erudite. You're not that gifted. You're not that talented. I don't know why your own case is different. I don't know. People of God, there's something there. Kai, may the best of you not be seen in the grave. Who, in recent times, me and my peer have been telling, whenever I discuss something, I'll ask him, who will tell him? Who will tell her? Who, who will tell Elisha that you raised the dead? Who? Who will tell Elisha that, do you know your bones have raised the dead? Who will tell him? Who will tell him? Nobody will tell him. Sir, you mean you carried so much? I guess the tragedy, God forbid, I never wanted to be on record. You were so gifted, but you ended up less than your gift. God of the 11th hour. There are great men who are with me in this house. Shekupa and Korosa. Designed to be great. God, they cannot end. They cannot end November the way they are. Kata, Ziba, Latukasha. Lord, some of them already know the picture of their destiny. Some of them already feel what you're about to do. Echo, Lashada. Oh, the sound of the amen. I announce, let them be steered back to life. Let them be steered back to life. Let them be steered right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Let the God of the 11th hour arise for you. Arise and make a change. Arise and shift things. God of the 11th hour. 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 Let your aim turn. Take your seat. People of God. And so one thing you need to understand again about the God of the 11th hour and what he did. The Bible says that some people were carrying a man. They were carrying the man to go and bury the man. They were carrying the man. All of a sudden, the band of the Moabites, the Moabite soldiers, bim, 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 enter. Bam! They threw the man. And the man landed in the sepulcher of Elijah. Let me pray. No, before I pray, let me warn. You must be careful about helpers that all they find is your barrier. There are people who are genuinely helping you. They know that something has died. They are only there to help you bury it. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. But I want you to know that nothing should be able to die around you. These people felt that this guy was dead. So let's go and bury him. But as they were carrying him to go and bury him, people of God, the bands of the Moabites invaded and they flung the guy because they were running away. Lord, there are journeys that do not look like my destiny. Don't allow it to be completed. God of the 11th hour, Kabbalah Sabia. There are journeys, there are journeys, Kabbalah Barabasha. By human calculation, this should be the journey now. But they don't look like your destiny. They don't, they don't look like your destiny, Kabbalah. Uh, you know, by human calculation, you know what? I, I, I can't get that scholarship again, you know, but it doesn't look like my destiny. It, it don't, by human calculation, I, I, can, I, can, I can't make that, I can't seal that deal again, but, but it doesn't look like my destiny. It doesn't look like my destiny. People of God, by every calculation, that guy is there, so we should go and carry him out. But it's not his destiny. His destiny is not to be buried now. 
His destiny is not to be buried now. So some of us are in journeys by human calculation. This is the way you should be going. But if it doesn't look like your destiny, if there is a journey right now that you know that you are on, that does not look like your destiny, open your mouth, shout, I reject my fire. No, 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 you did it, you did it. I need you to scream and say, I reject it by fire. I don't care whether it makes sense. I don't care whether some people say, this is the way it's supposed to be. Somebody turned and say, I reject it by fire. Shout it, I reject it by fire. See, lift up your right and say, today, all ye negative journey, hear me. As I hear the Lord, you do not look like my destiny. Therefore, I reject, I reject, I reject, I reject, I reject. I reject her. I reject her. I reject her. Can you release fire three times? I want you to know there are destiny journeys. By human calculation, they say this is where you should be going. Okay, you know, you know the way things are. If you look at this logically, logically, they are explaining to you, you know, ma'am, you know, you know, sis, you know, bro, logically, but look at it in this kingdom. We don't go by logic. We go by our destiny. In other words, by destination. This is where I am supposed to end. This is what God says about me and all of that. So you cannot, and by the way, Shekopadaya, you throw me in another man's grave. As in, I'm finally ending in a grave that is not mine. Lift up your right hand. Say, I will not be buried. In a grave that is not mine. If you understand it, shall fire. I'm not sure you understand the depth of what you said. Another man's sepulchre will not be my burial ground. This means a lot. Another man's mistake. Another man's error. Will not be the one that will bury me. Issues that is wrong with another man will not affect me. They will not affect my children. I'm, I don't know whether you understand. Lift up your right hand again. Shout, another man's sepulchre will not be my burial ground. Lift up your voice and thunder fire. Lift up your right hand and say, God of the 11th hour. God of the 11th hour. Another man's mistake. Another man's sepulchre will not be my burial ground. Shout fire. Shall fire. Shall fire. Shall fire. Shall fire. There are men everywhere creating sepulchres everywhere. Creating sepulchres. Sepulchres that swallow their families. They want you to enter there. Sepulchres that have been there, people of God. Whatever it represents. But you see their sepulchre, it will never bury you. As soon as that guy entered, bam! The bones of Elisha rejected him. This is not your place. Where I was buried can never be where you will be buried. People of God, did I say the bones of Elisha? The mantle on Elisha was saying, you know what? The guy that died here can die because he did not know what he's carrying. But even though he didn't know what he was carrying, you bad have been thrown in here. The mantle here will push you out of sepulchre. People of God, there are things that you will carry and death will reject you. I want to say it again. There are macapando sokotola. Jipa da kona sadia. There are macapando sopa. Likiti borosuba. Shabati karaba. Satola. Sir, mantles don't die. Grace is done dark. People of God, there's something you carry. Seven years after you are gone, it will still be speaking. 20 years after you've, people of God, if you don't even know who brought cause, you don't even know how cause entered your family, you don't even know, and they, they gave birth to you, you are still seeing what is happening to your great grandfather, God. who brought it, you don't know. That is the same way generational blessings will flow. We are that generation that will never hand over problem to our children. I wish your amen was louder than that. I said you will not hand over challenges to your children. 
live right, fellowship with God right. The Bible says, a good man out of the treasures of his heart, live it an inheritance for his children and for his children's children. There's a way you will live, you release favor for your children. Wherever they go to, people like them. People will favor them. People will admire them. And people of God, they don't have to really be all that. But there is something that you are doing that will be speaking over their life. But let me get back to what I was saying before I got to this. There are sepulchers everywhere. Do you know there are systems in your workplace that is nothing but sepulcher? They've designed it to favor their people. And bury high flyers. Sepulcher. There are employees that are sepulcher. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. For some reasons you can't sack them. For some other reasons, they refuse to leave. For other reasons, they become a thorn to your flesh. And the reason why they are sepulchre is so that you can be buried inside the sepulchre. But sir, between the bone of Elijah and the corpse that was coming, there was a mantle that cannot die. The mantle rejected that guy. I pray for every time you find yourself in anything that looks like a sepulchre, let the mantle on you you know when I speak about mantle, it is beyond the, 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 the handkerchief we put on our hair. That one is a medium of impartation. Mantles are prophetic words locked up in your spirit man that can never be broken. That can never. Mantles are impartations that have entered you. Mantles are the spirit manifestations of the seven spirits of God. Inside are divine empowerments that cannot be broken. At the sound of your amen, because of the mantles upon your life, people of God, every time you say amen to a prophetic word, you are receiving an impartation. You are receiving an empowerment. Akola Shaya, no man the sepulchre you find yourself I decree and declare over your life keep Alashaya let the mantle you carry reject the sepulchre the louder your amen the quicker the turn around let your amen rise higher 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 let your amen rise let your amen rise let your amen rise let your amen rise One prayer I'm going to make for you is that those who are carrying you that don't know what your destiny is like, let them drop you. Apostle Paul said, no, we know man again according to the flesh. There are those who are carrying you that do not know the weight of your destiny. And so they are carrying you to go and to a destination that does not look like you. But when you meet men and women who know you, the way they relate with you, what they release to you will show you that they already know the blueprint of your destiny. But there are people when they carry you, it's barrier. They don't know your weight. They don't know your what. It is barrier. Any man or woman that will enter your life to carry you to the place of barrier, at the sound of your amen, let it be broken right now. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. You see what my generation needs are not just those that have fire in their mouth. You know, the Spirit of God spoke to me and said to me within the week, I'm going somewhere. The Bible says, as soon as he touched the bones of Elijah, he revived. He revived. So what, you know, this was what Jeremiah was saying. When I said I could not speak, that your word was like fire in my bones. It was like fire in my bones. The Spirit of God said to me that there are three sets of people and all of them are all talking about fire. Number one are fire talkers. They talk about fire, fire, fire. But there's nothing fireful about them. Sir, one of them was John the Baptist. I'm sorry, Oga John, with all due respect. He spoke about fire. There's one coming after me. Me, I'm baptizing you with water. That one is coming with fire. He will do this. He will purge his floor. He will do that. I'm born with it. That guy spoke about fire. 
one command from the king. Meanwhile, the prophecy over his life is that he will come in the spirit and power of Elijah. People of God, one command, one gear. I said it the other day. The gear did like this. And then they sent for him. And then, bam, his head went. Oh God, excuse me, in the spirit and power of Elijah and all the fire you spoke about, so fire could not stand. My generation has no respect for those that talk about fire. If you like, talk about fire. We will be touched for the moment. There's yet another set of, a set of people, fire carriers. There is fire inside of them, but they can't demonstrate it. They have fire, but they lack the spiritual technology to express it. That's another message. Sir, there is another third set of people. And this is, these are the people I call fire demonstrators. They don't just talk fire. They don't just carry fire. But they demonstrate fire. Does it shock you to know that when fire fell in Acts chapter 2, that the Bible says that it fell on the heads of the disciples. Which means, you see the fire they carry. It's not the fire they will explain to you. It's the fire you will see. You will see the fire. You will see them demonstrating the fire. You will see fire. So you can argue everything, but you cannot argue the fire on them. You see, my generation is tired of fire talkers. It's tired of fire carriers. What they are looking for are fire demonstrators. If you got the fire, show us the fire. If you got the fire, let the dead rise. If you got the fire, let things change around Korosota. People of God, that is where we are. You see this guy? There was fire in his bones. And this is what we're looking for. Men who've got fire in their bones. Sir, after his death. A dead man touched him and was revived. He was long gone. People of God, we are looking for a generation that after they are gone, we will play their message and miracles will still be happening. We are looking for a generation. They don't have to be there. But someone picks up the phone, plays something. Prayers that were done six months ago, three months ago, and they say, oh Lord, show me mercy. And they are putting it there. Long after the prayers are made, yet it is still raising the dead. Bringing people out of coma. This is true semblance and similitude of fire. We will not end up talking about fire. We will not end up saying we carry fire. But we will end up demonstrating fire. Rise on your feet. Would you lift up your oil before the Lord? I pray for every oil lifted up before God. Passing the Koroshara. Send the Korosha. Papa Papa Sikaradaya. And lend the Beyarababa Kusara. It ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the oil of grace, the oil of glory. I pray for every hand that oil be poured into. It ceases to be ordinary. It becomes the right hand of the Lord that do it valiantly. Pour the oil on your palm and put it on your forehead. As your amen will thunder, I decree that this is the oil of restoration. The God of the 11th hour is restoring everything you lost. I wish your amen was cut at the gates of hell. Pour it again the second time and put it upon your forehead. I pray for you today. Let the God of restoration, the God of the 11th hour, I see opportunities. I see helpers. In less than seven days, let them show up in your life. This is the service he asked me to declare this. Put the oil on your palm. This third thing I'm about to declare is very important. Make sure you're anointing yourself. From now to 31st December, if your amen will rise, you are exempted from every evil. I want to say it again. You and your loved ones will not die. I say it again. You and your loved ones will not die. Let your amen thunder louder. 
That's not what God said I should tell. It will not be up to six weeks. I will show you why I closed that door. Because there's a greater door that I am opening. Let the person who it is your word receive it right now. Receive it right now. Put the oil on your head and anoint yourself. And this shall be the oil of your back to back good news. I decree it is done. Nothing missing. Nothing broken.